Hi, Blaze. Cashy, guys, he cut his face the other day. I don't know how he does this, but right there, right on his eye, he manages to cut his face when he's in his stall and things like that, so we've been treating that. Another hospital patient that we have here, I swear, it's like doomsday with the horses around here. They keep getting hurt all the time, and I'm not understanding why. Why do you guys keep getting hurt? He had a gash on the top of his head, which I shouldn't even call it a gash. It was like a small cut, and then he made this big cut. I just cannot catch a break with these guys. I'm ready for this time to be over with. Dinky. But luckily for us with her, she has no summer sores or anything like that. So Dinky's looking good. It's getting pretty dark out right now. I'm in the barn. I'm about to let the horses out. But we have a new arrival of a little animal. Oh, I just had a little, little animal coming today. Um, very impromptu, but um, Mike is making noise because we're trying to get ready for this little animal. He's struggling a bit. So this is the cage that we need for this new animal. We're kind of just putting it on the hay here for like a hay bottom, I guess, because we don't have a, like a bottom crate for the animal. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but it should be fine. Cause I need to grab some stuff from the store anyways to make it better. So we're going to do that in a minute. Trigger, you're about to have another um, stable mate. It's obviously not a horse cause a horse can't fit in here, but it's not chickens either. So I wonder what you guys are going to think it is. What do you think it is, Trigger? No comment. He's just excited to see it. Well, I guess I'm going to clean stalls while I wait. So, hope you guys like watching me clean stalls because we're going to clean some stalls really quick. But I can't forget, you guys, if you guys are excited for today's vlog, if you guys are excited to see our new animal like I am, make sure you go and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel below. Make sure you turn those post notifications and make sure that you comment something so that you have a chance to my post notification shout out. I got a new... Um, Pooper scooper. This one really, really reminds me of a cat litter scoop. And I don't know if you guys have been watching my channel for a while. We used to have this scoop at the old house, and then when we moved, it like broke or something. Out the window it goes. But I'm still not used to using this. It's so much heavier. Oh my gosh, I didn't remember how much I miss having one like this. Okay, one's still done. It's so weird using this scoop. I haven't used one like this in a while, and it's like, I feel like I don't remember how to use it. But that went by really quickly, so let's do Cash's now. Okay, so Cash's is done, and Louis is done. Now I just have Blaze's, and that's the last one I'm going to do right for now, so I can let them in, and then when Trigger and um, Jenny leave, I'll do theirs, just because it's easier when they're not in the stall. But last but not least, and my little pet should be here soon, so very exciting. Dolls are done. I'm about to let the um, horses in. Into the darkness I go again. You know, I actually need to find my ducks really quick um, and see if they went home on their own. Oh, you good little ducks. You went home. You guys want some water? Even though you swim and drink out of the pool all day long. Okay, let's close these guys up. There we go. Hello. Oh my gosh, you have red eyes. Let's go, guys. Oh no, I messed up a little bit. I forgot to put hay in the goat stalls. Okay, well, that was some pressure from cash. That wasn't very nice. Places, places. Where we go in your stall? I don't know why they've decided to not listen. It's because they're looking at my cage up there. Go in your stalls. Cash, that's literally not your stall. Come on, Cash. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh my gosh, come on, Cash. This is unreal, he never goes into that stall. Cash, come on, go in there. Blaze, stay. Everyone has waters. And then for this escaping horse, <laughs> now I have to get these guys. They were curious about my cage. Good boy. Are you going to close it? He always does the rest. Let's close it. Minnie. She's 
like, hey, quit it. You need to go to your stall, Dinky. I had to call him like the reinforcements and they're not even following him. See, I really messed up. I always need to put hay in their stall first because they just run right to their hay. Well, their stall. Look at her, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> oh, now I need to get the biggest dinker. Dinky, come on. She's like, no, why would I move? I can't wait till the winter's over so that I can clip her. She is very hairy, but it's very cold out. So her hair grew in quick. Go to your stall. Go, go, go. So I actually need to go to Tractor Supply. So I'm gonna bring you guys to Tractor Supply with me. But my um, new animal's about to be here. He's going to grab um, some food for me. So I was gonna tell you like what I know about my animal, but I feel like I don't know anything about the animal that I'm getting. Don't even know if it's a boy or a girl. Don't even really know how old it is. I was told like four months, so it's a baby. Um, not sure. Um, yeah, I don't really, like, I mean, there's not much more to know about an animal other than that. Doesn't really have a name. The only bit of the story, and I don't even know really the story about it. The only story that I know is that it was found um, outside and didn't want to get hit by a car maybe. I don't know, I'm butchering that. If I had my phone, my phone's dead. I'll be able to read back in the messages. Um, basically, I was asked if I would take this animal just to get it off like maybe the street area. Was, but I do know what kind of animal it is. I'm just not telling you guys just yet until I get the animal. I'm excited, but I definitely was not in like the market for a new animal. Um, yeah, so there's that. Um, <laughs> it just kind of just happened. And I couldn't say no because I don't want an animal to get hurt and be on the road, you know, so. That's how it goes. And once you guys understand what animal I got, you'll be like, okay, you know, what's one more? You guys, the animal's here. Can you tell what it is? All right, let me turn it around. Squirrel. Here it is, it's a squirrel. <laughs> this is what I meant by like, what's one more? Oh my gosh, look at the baby. So like I said, he, she's like maybe four months old, I don't know. That all could be completely inaccurate. So yeah, we got another one. Let's take her, I'm gonna call her because it's just easier to say that. So. We're gonna take her out. Oh, look, there's another cat over there. And then hopefully not let her go and get her into the cage that we set up. So as you can see, it's like not set up at all because it's super impromptu. Haven't gone to the store yet. I just have cat food, so I'm gonna bring the cat, cat food. We need to go get her a little bed and stuff like that because we're gonna put her in the cage. I hate doing that though. That's like my least favorite part of this. And before you say like put her in the tack room, I'm not putting her in the tack room because I feel like that's like torture for them because there's no windows and at least she gets to look outside. She's coming from being an outside cat that was born out in the wild. I'm not gonna put her in the tack room and make her lose her mind in there because there's no windows, no actual real daylight. Out here, she'll have the cats come by her. Hopefully it won't be that long that she has to be in her crate. It's just to get her acclimated to everything around here. Even find out if she's like bait or if he's neutered. I don't know. We're gonna figure this out as we go. All right, please don't run away from me, kitty. All right. All right. Hey, cute, don't run. Oh, you're cute, you're smaller than I thought. Beautiful eyes, oh my gosh, look. You're so sweet. Okay, well, she's very interesting there. We're gonna put her in this crate here. I'm sorry, baby. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Cute, she's got a fluffy tail. Her color is so pretty. She's like a calico. Oh my gosh. She looks bigger than four months, don't you think? Mm -hmm. So we're just giving her some food and water. Maybe that'll comfort her. I'm gonna get her some wet food so she's super comfortable, but she's definitely scared, in which obviously she went from being in the wild to now she's in a cage, in a barn, with giant 1,000 pound cats, basically, because they literally have are like in a litter box. So I gotta get her a litter box. I'm gonna get her a little bed you know, things like that so that she can enjoy her stay in here. She has a lot of room in here. It's actually a really big cage, but she's gonna need to be in here for a couple weeks. So we're gonna try to make it as cozy as possible. Same routine like we do with all of our cats um, and they can all visit her, him, her. I'm definitely not gonna try to find out if it's a him or her today because whatever they are, seems a little spooked, but she has beautiful eyes and I cannot believe her colorings. She's so pretty. Guys, we need names. We've made it to tractor supply aka our second home which i will add hasn't even been our like second home lately a lot because i've not been coming in here a lot lately i don't know why i just haven't needed anything i've been trying to not buy as much stuff this year it was like my new year's resolution so i've been staying out of a place that i often like to buy things at so we're going in now 
Here are little kitty stuff. They don't have like packs of the wet cat food today, so I'm just like gonna grab a couple of them until I can go to another store. So that looks good. There's 79 cents. We'll get a couple of these for her. Maybe another one. We'll do chicken and chicken and tuna and turkey. Perfect. Into the cart, those go. Now we're getting to good stuff. Oh my gosh, that's a cute little one. Maybe she would like that. Cause she can go in it or go on top of it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So we're gonna get her this because if she wants to go on it, she can, but I think she might want to hide so she can go in there and hide. So I'm gonna get her these because um, there's a little catnip in there and maybe that'll calm her down or maybe, I don't know. I don't know what it does, but um, it gives her something to do and something to play with because she's gonna be trapped in that cage and she's young, what I'm told. So hopefully she'll like that. So I got the bed, the food, this, and now I need to actually get a litter box because she has to be in a litter box. I just need something cheap. So we'll get her one of these. Because unfortunately she has to use a litter box. So I'm gonna get some litter. I have some at home, but that's what Stella uses right now. So I guess I gotta get more litter. Get her this water because she's obviously outside and I wanna make sure that she always has water. Obviously like food too, but water is very important. And then I'll get her this and I can fill both sides up with food. So this is everything from a free cat turned into a not free cat. Animals are never free, you guys, ever. Hi kitty, I'm back. So it looks like her kitty ate their food. Oh, so nice. So I've got the stuff. We're gonna bring a towel in here so that the ground's a little softer. What are you guys staring at? I wanna give her one of these mice right now. Look, I got you this. Let's see if there's any catnip in it. I've never really given my cat catnip or anything. I'm not really sure how this works. Got the catnip and I guess we'll just pour it in here. I'm not sure what else to do. Do they eat the catnip? What do they do with it? Do they just like to smell it? I have no idea. Okay. Looks good. Trigger, I don't know. Cat nip with a little mouse. Let's give her it. Here you go. I'm gonna give her some wet food so we really become friends. But we're gonna set our thing up now. Mike just brought over a towel we're gonna give her. And then I'm gonna hold her and Malky kind of sets it up a bit. Okay, I've got the cat. My job is very easy. Make sure said cat does not run away because that would be tragic. Well, yeah. Okay, perfect. That was in. And then that thing. Back there. Nice. Her room is coming along really nicely. <laughs> food and then water. Stay, kitty. So this is the new food jar we got her. So I'm gonna put that in there and then I'm gonna put a wet food right here for her so hopefully she'll be happy with us there we go so here's the wet food and crazy's over here wanting some wet food so i'm gonna give him the rest of it here buddy okay so she's got her food I just need to fill up the litter box with litter but hopefully she wants to eat that wet food it might smell good but she has a friend here okay she's going in for the wet food aha that makes me happy cutie Hopefully she can trust us now. Yeah, that's yummy. Awesome. Mishka, come here. I want to give you some catnip. Mishka. Come here, Mishka. <laughs> I've never given these cats catnip before. Mishka, he doesn't care about the catnip. Here, you want some? Oh, wow. <laughs> so I gave the mouse to Bagel. And it has catnip in it. What is this?
He loves the mail. <laughs> the little kitty is hissing at Mishka. Okay, that's like a little turn of events there. We're having a little um, kitty party right now. She liked her wet food. She's got fresh water. She's got her catnip mice. We've got Bagel over there that was loving on the catnip. He really loved it. Mishka might check it out, but yeah, this is going well. All right, you guys, well, that is it for today's vlog about our new little pet, our little kitty. Don't forget to give me some name suggestions in the comments down below. But if you guys like today's vlog, if you like seeing our little pet kitty, then make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And today's shout out goes to... All right, you guys, well, we love you and we'll see you in the next one.